Hello, hello guys, and welcome to week number two of the Gala Defenders League. Where last week we started out a bit rough, and I definitely learned that, you know, that 20 minute timer, it's going to be rough. And I have to really take the KOs when I can get them, which I didn't do last week. This week we're going to try, and the team is also a bit, um, it's interesting this week too. So this week we're up against John Jr. and his Portland Night Shaders, who has a scary team. And I'll just mention it, they'll be underneath me in text form because I've not really figured out a good layout. You know, I've, I've had time, I just didn't do it. Um, he has Mamoswine, that's pretty scary. He has Rotom Watch. Watch. He has Rotom Watch. It's a new Rotom form you didn't know about, but it's here. No, Rotom Watch. Who's annoying? Like, it's just... Ugh. Because back back in the day, like, it would often be, you know, defensive because the speed tip wasn't really that great, but now it can might as well just be offensive, and that's kind of scary. He has Bronzong, which... You know, it's a little bit annoying to deal with, but we also have a Night Tilt so that kind of helps. Uh, he has Kulisa Pod, which could be annoying. It's maybe not the most likely thing that he brings, but it is there. He has Pangoro, which <sighs> obliterates my team except for Adarine, except it does because it can give fire, not fire. Uh, poison type moves, and that's kind of not a... that's not too pleasant. He has Unpheasant as his... Uh, as his I was about to say Sea Captain, no. Dynamax Captain, who's... Actually dumb. Like, the only good thing I can say is that at least it doesn't get a fighting move anymore, so it can't boost his attack. But that thing can boost his speed. So that can actually be, you know, pretty scary and suddenly get a pretty good, you know, attack off. And nah, it's actually a bit disgusting and I could expect him to bring it. He has Ableton. Which I could potentially see coming because I don't really have an ice type, but I, 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 I don't know if it wants to. Uh, he has Electricity, which hits everything super hard. Like, the only thing I literally have that can take hits from is Gigalith. Which, I just spoiled the team a little bit, but you can already see what I'm bringing, so it doesn't really matter. He has Mimikyu, and obviously Mimikyu is a little less scary now, because it doesn't have the Z moves anymore. But it's still Mimikyu, and it's still scary, and you still have to do damage. The only good thing is that they cannot have Focus Dash, but that wasn't really a trouble that much in singles anyway. And the last is Heat Maw, and I would be surprised if he brings it. I'm also slightly struggling a little bit if he brings it, but I, I don't know that he would. So, that's the team. I'll go over what I'm bringing. First of all, we're bringing Conkelda. It's like max attack, pretty bulky, and assault vest with Mark Punch because Mark Punch is super nice against Mamoswine. Does a heck of a lot. It does a lot to Pangoro. We can also do a good chunk of damage to the um, Bronze Song. And in case the Rosem is like Will Whispering one, he can't cripple us. He just, you know, boost us, boost our guts, which could be pretty nice. If he doesn't, of course, we'd rather be Iron Fist, but it would suck to be Iron Fist and then get burned and have our attack re reduced. So that's it. And then we have Thunder Punch to kind of, you know, get a little bit of damage here and there and some EQ because, you know, there is this bloody toxicity that I'm a little scared about. Um, why do I have Thunder Punch? I want something to hit Rotom. Oh, for the bird. Maybe. Yeah, why do I have? I might change it to Ice Punch. I don't know. I'll figure it out between now and the game. We also have Jolton. It's going to debut for us. Nice and bolt us up with Life Orb and... His team is pretty slow, so one thing that we have to be aware of is the fact that he could run like Trick Room because he has both Bronzong and Mimikyu to set it. Which could be a little bit scary, but if he doesn't, like, Jolson is pretty is pretty modest. <laughs> it is modest. And pretty decently bulky and can, like, hit a lot. And when it Dynamaxes, which it does, it actually takes an EQ from a Mammoth Swine. That's pretty nice. Can two shot it with Shadow Ball. And we also have Stall Power just so we can hit the Toxtricity, so it doesn't really... Well, it should also two shot the electricity, so that's kind of nice. And we can set up the terrain. And the thing is, his only ground up is Mammoswine. is like his only other than Appleton to eat hits from it. So we might bring Appleton just for that. I don't know. We'll see. We also have had nine tails. Um, a little bit of interesting stuff we have. The, fa the thing is, it didn't really need anything than Fire Moves and a Grass Move for Rotom. It doesn't need anything else. Because, you know, Fire Moves is always going to do more than like Dark Pulses and the Bronze Song anyway. And what resistors on his team? Heatmore? Heatmore is the only thing that resists these two moves. So the the last moves were kind of like up in the air, kind of like eh. But uh, I ended up going with Protect Disable because if we find out that something is like Choice Band, like the Mammoth Swine, if we find out that it's Choice Banded, we can, you know, come in, you know, disable it, kind of force him to switch out. And again, he doesn't really have anything he wants to switch into this thing. So we kind of get some damage off that way. Then we have Hatterene, who never got to hit the field last week. Um, we have a Trick Room Sweeper, because again, like, look at these moves, and look at his team. Look at these moves, look at his team. 
If we get things shipped down and we can set up a trick room or something, and there are a good chunk of things that we can't set up a trick room against, we hit like a truck, and it, it, it can clean, clean up late game. I, I, is, it, is it like game if it happens after 15 minutes? I don't know, but it, I guess it is. Then we have Covenite. Covenite was kind of in a weird place. Obviously, like, you turn very nice. Momentum, pretty good to get in, like, on Kelto and Nitus and all those things that can break. Get the Hatterene in, maybe. Braybird hits most of the team. And the things that it doesn't hit, Iron Head wouldn't help with. Looking at you, Bronzong. Um, obviously, yeah, the same for Rosam, actually. So, yeah, it's kind of that. And then just Roos and Defog to, you know, remove hazards in case he has them and get some health. And the important thing is, we can take... Two icicle crashes from live orb mammoth swine after rocks, but we also have enough speed to outspeed max speed Adam and Pangoro, because uh, again that thing is a problem. So we kind of uh, we can go a good chunk to it at least. Last one we have Gigalith, who's kind of you know here to take hits from the um, from the toxicity if he brings it because that can pretty much destroy my team all by itself. Yeah, this is the Solvus and his pretty darn special bulky, and I was looking at his team and I was looking at Calx and. Rocks didn't necessarily matter too much. It was actually nicer to get some coverage on this, so is that we just have like full attack and we just roll with it and hope for the best. <sighs> so I could see Rosen be a problem. Rosen is a bit annoying. I think he still gets pains, but I'm not sure. I'll check before we go into the game. Uh, but that's the team, so hopefully we cannot go to timer and be 6 for 6 this week. That that would be ideal. I'd rather lose because I lost than because we went to timer and I didn't lose. Um so yeah, I'll be right back when we're about to jump in. Okay, so I learned two things. Actually, I'll learn three. First of all, still wish me good luck, have fun, because otherwise we're gonna disconnect. Um, two, Rossum does not get... Pain Split, that was what I was supposed to check for. And uh, I have found a push because I may set up the electric terrain, so you know, that's something. And uh, hopefully it won't disconnect again, that would kind of suck. I mean, it's less to recreate, but it's also kind of scary. So, you know, that's kind of what it is. And it's still a minute and a half, I thought I was so quick last time, and his team is kind of a... Uh... There's no mammoth swine, that, that makes me happy. Um, Toxtricity is just kind of scary though. Um, we have Goliath apart. We have Bronzong, who's a little um, scary. We have the Unpheasant, I'm not surprised. We have the Rotom. Um, that was not, that, that, no, that's, that's not. My. I just can't ride and I can't speak. We. It is also past, you know, eight in the evening. So it's basically my bedtime. Um, Jolton is kind of nice as a lead, right? It does a good chunk to everything. I, th I think I think we can lead Jolton pretty pretty freely. What would the else one be? Nothing really. Nothing really. I think that would be decent. I think that would be decent. I, I don't want to lead Covenant because of the toxicity. It's pretty gross. Um, yeah, I think that, that's what we do. I, th I think it's the safest bet that I have. It definitely gives me a little bit of trick room wipe, maybe, but uh, we'll, we'll have to see what he brings forward to the table. He has this nasty picture. That's quite quite beautiful. Quite beautiful. Do we get a nice stadium? 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 I, I love it when we get stadiums, and we didn't. We did? Yes, we did get some kind of stadium. At least it's not like the... Boring online and oh that happened. Okay, so false time is a charm and we're playing in German, which did not help. Fifth time is a charm, maybe I don't know. Like <laughs> at this point it's just like please just 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 work. I don't wanna play on showdown. Like showdown's so sad. I don't know if Jolton is cursed or what is cursed or what is happening. Um But okay, we have a deal. That if I don't recognize the move that he uses, he'll write me what move it is. Um, so, you know, that's kind of a... Because, like, I, I know what all of my own moves are in. I don't know about his, but uh, okay, so far so good. We got our Pokemon in. Ah, <laughs> uh, los, Jolzeon! Go! Ich believe in dich! This is going to be great. Like, honestly, this is just... Uh... Okay, we get through the first turn. He's probably going to Vol Switch 2. Um, which is scary, actually. I, I need to think about this. Is he going to Hydro Pump? Is he going to Hydro Pump? Like, if Evolve Switch, I really want to be into Gigalith. 
Because then, like, the laser part is coming in and that's something. Like, coming, I can take it out. Take it on, not out. Um, I don't really want Hatterene to take any, any damage currently. It's not really at the point of being able to break. I'm just banking my whole cash on the fact that he does not go for Hydro Pump. I, I might be very wrong and I might just throw the game. I just, just, I, I just, no. Michael is playing Fortnite. Michael, what are you doing? Leak Shield. That's Light Screen. I, I recognize that enough to tell you that that is Light Screen. Um, that's interesting. And he has leftovers, okay. And I'm, I'm kind of trying to, when I recognize the moves, to tell you guys so you also know what the heck is going on. Uh, luckily, you have seen my team. Um, I wish I... Yeah, okay, no, that just happened again. Okay, this is great. I'll be right back. Right, so we're getting through the first turn again. And I was... It was so dumb. I should have just Thunderbolt. But I guess I didn't really want to risk... I mean, even then, like, it was still dumb. It was still dumb. It was actually still dumb. Like, I made a dumb play. Because I really can't afford to take hits with, um, with this thing. Oh, he's just up the light screen again. Hopefully we don't disconnect. Like, the sixth time is a charm. I will prove to you that. I don't know, man. So I can see one of two things happening. Either he's going to Volstrom Charm or he's going to Hydro Pump. Or he's just going to set up and reflect. I don't know which. I don't know which. Um, how much will we do to a roll Tom? Wash. Because it, it seems bulkier. It seems bulky. It seems bulky. Um, I'm going to reflect. Where's, where do we have reflect? I don't know. Reflect. We will tickle it. Um, also, says I rock boss. I don't. Um, do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? No, we, we go Conkelda, I guess. Yeah, I guess we go Conkelda. Just to, 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 to eat a couple of hits. Also, because since he didn't bring either Pangoro or the um, Mammoth Wine, is kind of. A little less valuable. That's a Hydro Pump. And he miss. Okay. So that we know. That we know. <sighs> that we know. So he probably may not have Reflect. It's okay. We're not completely out of me brain farting. Um, he could go into Mim Mimikyu. That would be kind of um, kind of annoying. I kind of want to Thunder Punch just in case he does. I don't want to go to a drain punch and he just like goes into it and then it's just like kind of there and it would be unfortunate. He will switch, it's okay. It does a good chunk, does a good chunk. Um, but again, yeah, Conkel is nice, but Conkel I don't think it's, it's, it's not essential, basically. <sighs> so we'll see what he does. What's that? Golizapod, I don't think you want to take this, friend. You don't want to take my Donut Slag, like my Thunder Punch? So go right out again. <laughs> and with you, we got we got nice damage. Also, Rossum came down like pretty low, like a couple of fifties, and Golisa was like also like forty-five something around there. That's pretty nice. Well, that 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 was a read. I'm just saying it was such a read. And again, I'm trying to translate. It's a bit unfortunate. I, I mean, since this worked, like it might as well stayed on the English one. It would have been just as bad. Um, but uh, you're getting a free German lesson. That's something and I'm getting refreshed too. I think that's a bird. That's a bird. That's a dangerous bird. That's a bird that like becomes big and like gets double HP and that actually scares me. Uh, I'm gonna kill that against Unpheasant. Um because it's just hmm. Instead of having base 80 it gets like base 160. And it gets like Brave Bird. It's a max move and it can have like Life Orb, and you can have like 252 investment. That so much just kills this Conkeller so fast. Um, just jolt and take it. <laughs> um, oh, Gigalith does. I have a Gigalith. What am I thinking? I have Gigalith. This is Gigalith is both my bird and my toxicity answer, and it's it, it's a bit rough on it, but you know, we try. Uh, because he, he shouldn't have the best ways to hit us because he should not have a fighting move, and he becomes big, which is understandable. <laughs> I kind of get to see what this uh, this big bird wants to do. <laughs> big bird on the field. The good thing is Jolson can pop this thing. Like it's hot. Like really, even though it's big, it's still a... Uh, it's not unpheasant. It is a pheasant. Duna Duzu, that is the big flying move. <laughs> Just a um, nice little translation there, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Probably from Brave Bird. Uh, boosting his speed, that's quite nice. Uh, we just go for a rock move. Like, being honest, it's, it's all we can do is to go for a rock slide. And hope for the best. I'm, I know he has switch ins to it, um, but... Um, oh, that's a steel one. I forgot. Get the steel move? What, do, what does he get? Oh, my lord, that did a lot. What steel move does this thing get? That's his crit. Okay, he gets steel wing. I feel like that mattered. Oh, I feel like that mattered. And the worst thing is, I have to go into Jolteon. And it may outspeed, but it can't kill me, I don't think. I, I, I don't think that. I, I don't know that it can. Uh, we'll just, like, look at this um, Jolteon against Unpheasant, who is a Pheasant. I mean, apparently it's not because it critted me instead, uh, so that was quite nice of it. Um, Brave Bird. <laughs> we know it has Steel Wing. May have missed that in a in his Dynamax, and we have the Jolteon. Uh, but it, uh, it's also plus one speed, so it's like pretty fast, honestly. It's jolly. It's faster, but I, I don't think it kills me. I don't think it does. I might do with a normal move, actually. It can have like something, I, I don't know, like Giga Impact. Not Giga Dream, Giga Impact. And it, <laughs> we get obliterated, but I guess we have to count on it anyway. Um, Ugh. The thing is, it is definitely... No, I mean, we can go big too. Let's face it, we can go big too. And we can set our own to rain. And he doesn't really have a switch into it, other than the... <sighs> than the thing. And we can take a hit if we're big. <laughs> Ugh. When you have to Dynamax to, you know, kind of take care of the Dynamax, that's kind of bad. But it's not life orb. It's not life orb. Also, very rude to crit my Gigalith. Very rude. I, I I want to see unpheasant. If you're two fifty two, I don't know, like adamant steel wing. Not hidden power steel because that does not exist, and that would also be dumb. Ugh. That should have done like sixty seven percent max. So we should have lived it, but uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. It just sucks that we have to use Jolteon to kind of um. You know, get through this. But I mean, that didn't do too too much. That didn't do too too much. So we we can we can we can do something. And this bird should be dead unless it has like a Wakan berry. No Wakan berry. No, okay, that's a dead bird. So <laughs> we got over that. Oh, uh, it's not going to be a six v six match this week, guys. It's not gonna be six v six. Finished. Ah, <laughs> uh, but I mean, we are actually still tied because you know we KO'd. Okay, oops. Giga. Okay, oh. Five jolts. Keeping them notes, keeping them notes. Since we can actually do it this time. Um, it's pretty great. Ah, <laughs> oh, so silly. So silly. Oh. How are you liking the German language this far? That's Mimikyu. Uh, Mimikyu is annoying. Mimikyu is annoying. I'm, and I'm not switching out, I just have to kind of roll with this, I guess. I guess I just have to roll with this. Just... Doing a spook! We're doing a spooking! <laughs> and we're just hoping for the best. Breaking is disguise at least, and I still don't think... Mm, plus two? Shadow Ball? I, I, it doesn't have less snuggle forever, and it's not Dynamaxed. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Am I? We take some. You just play rough me. I don't. Oh no! 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 That would have been bad. We finally have a game that seems to somehow work, and I think we are living a um... big Jolgen putting in the work. I think we're living a Shadow Sneak. Uh, that's a Shadow Sneak. We live on seventeen. Woo! Okay. Is this a dead Mimikyu? This is a dead Mimikyu. Okay, that's great. KO'd by Jolt. I say that Jolson did his work. I know it's going. No, it's not even going down. Oh, I mean, if um, if the the laser pod has first impression, he could go into that. But otherwise, we're doing pretty nice. Let's say that's pretty okay, man. Pretty okay. Big Jolson's doing the work. Okay, we have this big boss, and it's doing well. And I definitely don't understand why they only allowed it for the T5 Pokemon. Um. Are you faster than me? Oh, I'm done Dynamaxing. 
I have one move left. I'm literally back on one HP. Ah, <laughs> uh, and I lost my switch into this, so I guess I just have to spook ball it. I will spook ball you. <laughs> well, we'll get some chips so when the nizzles can kind of come in and just uh, click frame for. I think it's there. Uh, that's the. Let's go. When did the light screen end? I didn't even notice. Well, that's when it's German and you just miss things. We'll just spook ball this thing. This little J here. J, you're gonna take a little bit of damage. Oh, pretty nice chunk of damage. Actually, that was like 50%. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Oh, shift gear. Oh, I see you. I see you. That was one shift gear. That's actually a little bit scary. Um, how do you how do you handle this? Where's my dual turn calc? We might as well close that. Um, <laughs> you shift gear on me. I mean, Concalva, I. Toxa, to toxicity. What does uh, what does what does um, shift gear do? Shift gear. Speed and act. Speed and attack. We go. I think we go Concalva, and I think we just click earthquake. I think it's like the best bet that we have. Because we should live a, a, anything. Um, I think should be should be all right. Unless it crits me, that's all. It's always an option. I mean, I, if Gigalith would not have taken the bird out, especially because it boosts its defense. So it, it would never have taken a pheasant out, so it didn't really matter. I'd, I'd had to make the same play anyway. So, you know, the crit didn't matter. It just, like, tickles you a bit when it happens. It's just like, well, yes, my giggle is dead. Um, He can go into Rosen, but I, I have to attack this thing. I have to attack what's in front of me. It's basically um the conclusion. Like, basically, I just need nines and just, like, click moves. Okay, switch out into Rotom? No, into the bell. Okay, into the bell. <sighs> okay. No more electric terrain either. That's kind of a, kind of rough. Kind of rough. What do we have? Kohenai doesn't really help me. I don't really want to switch nines in. Um, hmm. <laughs> Don't want to switch Conkelva out. Does Conkelva doesn't really help too, too much. I guess we just attack, get a bit of health, just begin to chip this thing down. Kind of see that it's not that defensive, so that's pretty nice. I think it's here to take care of Hedorine, kind of. Which we don't want to let it do, we don't want to let it do. That's still Frox, okay. Okay, I see you, I see you. I see you. Bronze song. Belgium. I like your name. It's 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 punny. It's nice and punny. We just do the same again. Like I I don't need Conkel. That's kind of um, the conclusion here. We're getting this thing chipped down. Like oh, that's a good chunk of damage. Like this ends up like around forty percent or something. We're almost back to full. You use psychic. That I think that's psychic. We take that. That's pretty. That's pretty nice damage. We just we we just keep on doing what we're doing basically. It may get to the point where, like, yeah, Tectrus can come in and they can revenge us, but it also has to actually attack us because he cannot afford to, you know, set up a shift gear against this thing. Uh, I don't think he actually can, like, really against anything on my team. Um, Ninetales is looking very nice. Like, just being very honest, Ninetales is looking super nice right now because at this point, Rosam should die to, like, a thing for a plus and. He withdraws into who do the, this thing. Okay. How how well does this thing take it? Conclusion is that it takes it. I think it's kind of a kind of the thing. Um, kind of the thing. <sighs> it might kill me. Do I have anything I really want to switch in though? I mean, I have my yeah. Actually, I have my bird. I have my bird. My bird is kind of nice. Concala is still useful because it can still take a hit from the the thing. And we are decently physically bulky and we pressure. We put on some pressure. That's a liquidation. That did some damage. It did some damage, yes. Um hmm. I I don't know that we really want to break bird. 
But I also don't know that I really want to shoot anything in. And, like... Do I care if Rotom takes this thing down? I don't know that I do. Like, I kind of just want to... To, 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 to actually get uh, my Nysus in for free. Basically, it's kind of my goal. It's literally all I'm trying to do is just to get my Nysus in. And we're faster, and I think we get to kill this thing. Because we are a fast burb, and this thing is pretty bloody slow. Okay, oh, bye, cool. The bad thing is it allows electricity to set up again, which is probably seeing. Um, which is a little bit unfortunate. Definitely, because what do I have? Am I Conkelda? I'm a Conkelda. We can lose to this thing still. We can. Um, Corviknight against a Toxtricity. No, Corviknight, not Conkelda. Corviknight, not Conkelda, <laughs> Toxtricity. Um, I mean, we do, we do, we do some damage. Basically, like it can't set up two, which I also don't know if it like needs to. Where are you faster than it currently? This is like bulky <laughs> toxicity. Um, hmm. Let's shift gears again. Okay. So it becomes fast. It's very fast, which is kind of bad. Makes me wish my license was scarfed and not expo belt. Um, because I I don't know. Like after rocks, I don't know that my license really takes a hit from the toxicity. Yeah, I think I, I could definitely lose to this just because of uh, being dumb. I'm gonna draw so we get up the sun. Um, but I still think like after rocks. Mm, mm. Depends on if he gets to plus one. If he does, we have a problem. If he does, we have a problem and he might. Chaos. Oh, does he go to plus one with the... He doesn't. Okay, so Night Cell should actually live a hit. Ninetales should live a hit if he's modest. He's not specs, we know that. He was not he was not life off. So we should live a hit. We should live a hit. We should live a hit. <laughs> it should do 69% max if he's modest. Fully invested. And there's three minutes left of the battle, so that's also kind of interesting. Um please don't crit. And please don't be like some kind of weird set plate I like thingy. <sighs> please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. You shouldn't. It's not okay. It's still bad <laughs> because actually I losing this thing was kind of a kind of kind of not good. <sighs> oh, KO'd. Maybe going into Kong would have been better. Oh yeah, I still have a I still have a hit. I still have a hit with this thing, and I have Expo Belt, so we can Solar Beam. I just forgot that I wasn't Life Orb. <laughs> oh, I forgot that I wasn't Life Orb, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Nine Tails, please. <laughs> just do enough, please. Just please. Mm. Please be enough, please be enough, please be enough. It is, great. Nine Tails, you're putting in the work. KO by Ninesos. And this time at least we did not have a timer game. <laughs> oh, thank Merlin. I, uh, that, that makes me a little bit happy at least. And we can just fade from. We can actually get the game done in 20 minutes somehow. That's pretty um pretty exciting, I'd say. Ninesos did a good job. Very good job. And Ninesos also gets to KO the bloody bell. KO Ninesos. So that, this feels like a bit of redemption for last week. Last week we lost 6-6. Six, six. This time we actually got to win. What do we want? Like free, zero free, 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 zero. Yes. So thank you to John Jr. for first of all a lot of patience to get this to work. That was pretty nice, and I have a good game because I I got scared of that toxicity. Like I just saw the bar just drop. He even got a max roll. <laughs> that's the worst. He got a max roll. So you know that's um that's interesting. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully we can keep the streak up. It's not a streak. It happened once. But hopefully we can we can keep this trend up. So until next time, keep it cool. Bye.